Mococo? Mococo? Mococo! Okay, so that's my DPS for two minutes, and you obviously just saw what my DPS was in a 20 second burst. Just to give you guys kind of a quick rundown of what I have here, I'm actually running a, the, I'm running full specialization with just a little bit of crit. Um, my engravings are keen, or grudge, keen, blunt weapon, robust, pierced dagger, um, obviously, I don't have any negatives, which is really nice. Um, this is what my stone ended up looking like. I wish I could have got a better stone. Obviously, that's more of what we obviously all want. Is a stone that has more, um, more like points on it or more fucking stars, I guess. But uh, that's not what I got, right? So, but even still, that's what I'm running right now. What else do I got here? Um, on my gems, this is my setup that I'm running on top of my gems and things like that. Uh, I probably could be doing a lot better, but this is my setup that I like. Um, I'm I'm really enjoying this setup. I changed it a lot from my first video because in my first video, I realized that I was an idiot after looking at the forms and looking at a lot more information that was out there for me. Um, I realized that I was running double or if not triple ready attacks and that's terrible. It doesn't do anything for me. What I did was I took off all the ready attacks and then I put on it only on my energy release which is gives me massive amount of power here but there's one thing that's very good and bad about our build this build that i'm running right now this build can actually be broken by the current korean patch that might hit in kr but even still with it breaking in a kr it's still very viable for us right now on naeu this time around i'm going to be running flash up for just the mobility alone um, i'm going to put seven points into it grab um, move distance with excellent mobility and smooth armor. I rotate smooth armor and uh, what's the other ability here? I think it's the the rabbit one. Got like the fast haste on it. Quick pace. I rotate between these. The only reason I don't really run quick pace all too often is because it requires you to hit the target to grab the movement speed. This right here, just during the skill use and for three seconds after, I get the defensiveness, which is to me is really worth. And then again, I'm not trying to stack victory shouts again because I have victory shout that's coming from another item in my kit later on I'm running pulverizing palm for the biting spirit enhanced to always be up on my bar to pretty much always be up it's eight second cooldown on it and uh eight seconds of time on it and then it got a nine second cooldown on pulverizing palm so in theory it's always going to be up for my team which is nice they'll always have something to benefit them extra six percent utility is always or synergy for the team is always good everybody loves attack power merciless pummel going to be running 10 points in this and again on a pulverizing palm i'm running seven points in that and i'm running efficient striker for just to just to keep this ability cheap this ability is nothing like this ability i don't want it to be causing me a lot a whole lot of energy i really just want it to be my buff for everything else in my kit right then i'm running 10 points in merciless pummel that first one is going to be hard hitter then i'm going to be running cold hearted and double up the whole reason i'm running cold hearted and double up is because cold hearted i'm getting a lot of extra attacks in of course that's also going to be keeping up my crit and more more crit and more hits also mean like more essentially more damage for me right instead of like because at first i was running clear hit which was just one nice big damage hit but at times we'll notice that it wasn't critting because oh it's just one hit so now if i add in cold hearted giving me two more attacks on top of the already three attacks that i was doing that's five attacks and also on top of the double up that's 10 attacks i have a lot more chances to crit there 
right? Definitely, and you and you notice it too with that ability. This ability can crit for up to, upwards of three mil. Um, I think it, I think that's what it was getting whenever I was simming it earlier. If not, it was two mil, upwards of at least two point six mil. So I know it's close to three. Then next I have Tempest Blast. Tempest Blast, we're gonna be running 10 points in that. Um, in PvE, obviously, we're not gonna be sleeping any fucking bosses. So obviously we're gonna be running Charge Enhancement with Eradication and Demolition. Eradication is just so that whenever, I, I just want this ability to be slaughtering bosses. This ability can crit for almost four mil whenever I pop it off and I'm like fully buffed. So this is definitely a keeper in my, in my kit. Crippling Barrier is excellent also too. We're gonna to be putting 10 points into Crippling Barrier, grabbing Sturdy Armor, Hard Hitter, and Keen Judgment. The whole reason on Crippling Barrier we're grabbing, um, oh wait, actually no, I grabbed the wrong thing. This is the wrong thing. I need to have Quick Prep. Quick Prep is what we need to have. I apologize about that. I mean, you should be running Quick Prep, Hard Hitter, and Keen Judgment. That actually, this actually might've made my rotation a lot more smoother whenever I was running my damage just a little bit ago and I didn't even double check that. Uh, but uh, I think everything else is still fine. But even still, um, quick prep with hard hitter and keen judgment or desperate attack, whichever one of these that you can get the highest is fine. As long as you're running this, this with this and this, that makes it hit a lot harder because if you see it says with hard hitter, this attack does upwards of almost 100% damage by charging it, right? And if I get it to, to rank four, it's gonna be able to do over 100%, which is nice. The next thing I'm gonna be grabbing is Lightning Palm. The reason I have Lightning Palm is because I wanna have a counter on my bar. I had two counters before. The counter we were using also with this kit was Bolting Crash, but I realized Bolting Crash is just way too low of damage. I enjoy it for the Fighting Spirit Enhance right here. And actually, in theory, one thing that you could do is that like, since this, since I'm not using, this could be actually a good thing right here. This right here. Let's look at this 230 uh, energy cost, right? And then 270 on that. If I go ahead and grab the repulse with that and then I grab the fighting enhanced spirit, I can have that last for 10 seconds instead of the other nine, instead of the eight seconds. But I think that I'll be losing the uptime on this a lot more than the other one. But if I did add this to my kit, then I would have two counters which was super nice. And also this is a weak point and a mid stagger. I'm I'm contemplating switching this around because of the cooldown on it, but 10 seconds is really nice on that. And that does, man, is that a weak point too? It is a weak point too with the stagger also too. It's a very high cost, but it does do a lot more damage than this does also too. Rage. Huh. I kind of want to, I'm going to test that out. We're going to test this out. But one thing you can switch with Pulverizing Palm, I would suggest maybe testing out if you want to, Bolting Crash and Pulverizing Palm. Um, I'm going to, in this video, you're going to see me try this out. I'm going to try this out here in just a second. Then what else I've been running? Lightning Palm, I've got 10 points in that. I'm going to have Weak Point Enhancement, Burning Palm, and Merciless Hands. We just want this to be flat out crushing, doing lots of damage from any way that I'm hitting it. Obviously, if it's a frontal and a back, it's going to be doing more damage. And it's also a counter, like I said, and it's a range counter. So it's just good for you being up in bosses' faces. Shadow Breaker is great because it's basically an execute for whenever they're under 50%. It's already doing 25% more damage. So we're going to definitely put 10 points into this. And obviously, if you're looking at this, you can see that I'm also putting my, um, what's it called? My, what are these called? Uh, I don't know what this is called. And I'm just upgrading my skill tree. I'm getting, the, I'm upgrading these things. I forget what it's called. I did a little triangle swirly thing, but I am upgrading. I'm transferring the skills, right? So this is the skills that I've transferred are all going to be mostly for all of these ones right here also too. Right, so just like the gems, I'm also going to be focusing these too. Uh, and if you can see as I hover over these also too, you see I got that and then I have this. Uh, I have the gems for damage and the cooldown on that one, on this one too also. So going back to Shadow Breaker, like I said, we have the Sixth Sense. I just want this to be just doing a quick, a quick wooded damage type of thing. It's like whenever I'm up on the boss and I'm in hype already, I'm boom, 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 boom. Like it's, it's, it's really fast. 
And then energy release, you're gonna put 10 points in this also too. This is our bread and butter. Um, this You should always have this up. You're gonna grab quick prep on this, energy enhance uh, for damage reduction, or you could in turn, if a lot of people don't know this, and I always forever reiterate this, shout of purification depending on what kind of boss you is that you're doing that way you can debuff your team and not have to worry about anything because i mean what do you need damage reduction if you're not if you're keeping the debuff off right and then we're going to grab ready attack on this also too ready attack gives us 43 percent increased attack power for six seconds basically it's our bread and butter again good things okay and the the ability i'm i man i'm running fucking I, I run decimation ray okay i run decimation ray because i don't like having the bank on one ability critting i feel like this ability never crits for me that's just me i feel like again this don't crit for me two mil okay two mil point six okay so that's just that that's just one ability uh let's see let's look at the other abilities um Special Beam Cannon does about the same. 1.3, that didn't crit, but well, that's okay. We reset that. And actually this can do more, because watch this, because now I, for, I, I realize that um, what I am doing though is I'm running Fighting Enhanced Spirit on my Pulverizing pul pul Palm. I can pretty much always keep it up because it's a eight second uptime and a nine second cooldown. And the nine second is just the, what it's saying that it is. Outside of that, I'm, I actually have a lot because I'm gonna be casting it all the time while I'm inside of hype, right? So what I can do is I can do this. Uh, let's see, we're gonna clack that, crack that, hit that, hit that. Now let's see what this does. We did 2.6, 2.7, okay? 2.7, and now let's see what the, um, that was Merciless Pummel. And let's see what Tempest Blast does, crank it. Hmm, 3.2, okay? So obviously these are really heavy, hard hitting abilities that I'm gonna be running. And then you got this. Oops, wrong. God damn it, I'm an idiot, right? Let's see what we get from this. Okay, 3.5. That hits really hard also too. And we got... That slaps. Nope, that didn't slap. That's only what it could crit for, I guess. Let's try this again. 1.63. Okay, and then it's also got burning on it, so it's gonna tick just for a little bit more. Then we have one more. This one is uh sucks outside of them being under 50 50%, 50 uh damage, but whenever they're below 50% damage, it crushes them. Crushes, 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 crushes. One mil. I say one mil. I don't think that was critting. I don't think that that was a crit. That was like one of it crit, right? Didn't even crit. I feel like this ability is like one of the lowest critting ones that I have. I'll take that, I guess, even though it didn't crit. <laughs> but <clears throat> that, that aside, that ability right here, Shadowbreaker, I really like it because it's a quick, quick uh, like execute for at the end whenever their life is like really low. You can um replace Shadowbreaker with a lot of other things if you want to use heavily squash, you can. But the reason I'm running the kit that I'm running right now is because I'm looking to run a lot of weak point. Like here's a weak point here with Shadowbreaker. Here's a weak point with this, and this is also a weak point once I turn it into one, right? So I'm, I just want to have a lot of weak points to be crushing those abilities into my uh, enemies and shit like that. Especially since I run a lot of guardians, this is more of a guardian raid build for sure. This is definitely a guardian raid build. And if since it was having a lot of stagger also too, because I got medium stagger there, this does a weak point, but that doesn't. But this does a low stagger here. This has this has this right here has a stagger on it if you hit it all three times. This has a, a medium stagger also too. It really just depends on like what you're running for. That's why I'm running like a stagger weak point build. You can definitely go for a lot of different things here, but um, what I enjoy doing is 
always like making sure that the boss is like down on the ground if it's possible during those phases also too because a lot of times i realize that there's a lot of people who don't run weak point abilities so that's why i run it for the for the team i run when i play sophist i, I run sophist as utility yes we do great fucking damage that's what we are we're one of the highest damage dealers in the game but we also are a great utility to the team which is part of the reason why i think in kr that they decided to try to give us a shield those the the patch in kr i don't think I don't, I don't believe that that's finalized but even with it not being finalized the fact that they want to give us a shield proves to me that they're looking at solfus as a class that's supposed to be like a supporty kind of class or not even really just support just a utility class we have multiple different things i mean for fuck's sakes i can debuff and i can also remove ability remove um uh, like a uh, debuffs like literally like every 15 seconds i could be debuffing my, my group if I wanted to like and no other class can do that <laughs> by the way no other class can remove just automatic remove debuffs I think it's paladin the only one but like I have a fucking bard and I wish my bard was like this I'm like bro why am I playing this when I could just be playing my fucking soul fist um <clears throat> what else can I show you guys uh let me show you my cards this is my cards this is, cards are just for like tankiness like this is just kind of like for me to make sure i can survive because i do so much damage already so go ahead there's your free advice get to it guys